Fellas, y'all all right? Ladies, how y'all doing? Now, I told Sarah when she took my order to put the pickles on my sandwich because she specifically asked me if I wanted pickles, and I said yes. Oh, bless it. Let me see what this, uh, this Anna Palmer hitting on. Because if Sarah messed up the Anna Palmer, then we gonna have, I'm really going to have to go over there and have a discussion with them. I oh, know they had Keisha back there in the back. What's up, Takeover Gang? It's your girl Maya, and I am back with another MD Takeover video. You can tell by the title of this video, we're gonna do a Chick fil A mukbang. I did a poll in the uh, community tab, and that's what you guys voted on, so that's what we're gonna do on today. As you can tell, I am here by myself. My brother is Dan is living his best life on the people cruise ship somewhere in Mexico, probably on his third second third margarita top shelf not that other stuff anyway <laughs> y'all i am not gonna be before y'all long because i have a long day ahead of me but i just wanted to tap in with you guys on today i know y'all missed me because i've been in my ass baby i've been at them people job trying to uh get certified y'all so just just pray just just pray for me child just pray for me because that job over there i'm not finna let them people that job work my nerves anyway y'all hold on before i get further in this video let me go ahead and pray over my food father god we just want to thank you for this food lord god let it be a nourishment to my body lord god bless the hands that prepared it and the mouth my mouth that it shall feed lord and please don't let me get no food on me because i'm i look i look cute today so it's in your son jesus name we pray thank god amen Ooh, as a songwriter would say, thank you, Lord. Oh, I just want to thank you, Lord. Mmm. Mmm. Baby, these fries. Mmm. These fries ministering to me on today. Oh, wee. Y'all, I'm so hungry. This is my first time eating. Eating. Let me correct myself since I, I've been told I can't talk. Been told I can't talk. Y'all know I'm from the uh the southern parts of Louisiana. We just we just say things how we say things. But let me go ahead and get into this bite. Mmm. Now I told Sarah when she took my order. To put the pickles on my sandwich because she specifically asked me if i wanted pickles and i said yes and not a damn pickle on here look there not a damn not a damn come on chick-fil-a y'all better than that now y'all used to never get my order wrong child y'all i'm so tired and it is hot out that dough. It is hot out that dough. Even even though it's been raining, it is still hot out that dough. And I'm sick of it. I am sick of it. And here I am on this camera with a quarter a quarter length sleeve. Talking about it's hot out that dough. Anyway, y'all, I'm not I'm not gonna be before y'all long. I just come in to come to, to check in and, and, and chat with y'all for a little while on my lunch break. Fellas, mm, 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 mm. y'all all right? Ladies, how y'all doing? Y'all know every once in a while, Danny and I come on this camera to do a mental health check, so that's what today's video shall be about. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This food is blessed. Let me see what this, uh, this Anna Palmer hitting on. Cause if Sarah messed up the Anna Palmer, then we gonna have. I'm really gonna have to go over there and have a discussion with them because Chick Fil A never messes up my order, and I just want to know what's going on. I mean, granted, I did go over there at lunchtime, but that's besides the point. That is besides the point. Oh no, they had Keisha back there in the back. Keisha was back there in the back because this this it's very sweet. Mm -hmm, it's very sweet. Keisha was back there. Anyway, y'all. 
Mm. Let me try this. Mm. Let me turn my car back on, y'all, because I thought I could do this video without the car being on, but I forgot briefly that I was in Louisiana heat, and that's a no go. That is a no go. I'll be uh, drenched in sweat by the time I finish. But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to come and chat with y'all for a little while because I just got out of therapy. And I'm sorry, I ain't even extra if y'all wanted to buy it. I just, I'm all over the place. I don't know what to do when Dan not here. I don't know what to do when Dan not here. Anyway, not just bite that piece because I done sit up there and bit all it. Don't worry about it. Don't don't worry about it. Just just go get you some Chick Fil A and join the video. Anyway, yeah, I'm sit up there and had a therapy session. And you know how folks say in church, when I look back over my life and all the things that God has brought me through, hey. Hey, oh, I felt it in my left bosom. Mm. As brother was saying. Anyway, y'all, to be on the season though, because <laughs> I could clown all day. But anyway, no, y'all, like for real, like I started therapy. So, okay, let me backtrack. So, I started therapy in 2020. And as we all know, 2020 was a really crazy year. We had the pandemic. George Floyd, Lamar Aubrey, Breonna Taylor, uh, just a lot of crap. Black Lives Matter movement. A lot. It was just a lot, baby. My mental health was unstable. I was not well. I was not well, sweetheart. And a lot of things triggered me at that year and put me in like the deepest of depressions. And I haven't been that low since like I lived in Houston. So I figured let me try a little therapist again. Oh whatever, because this was this my fourth time. My fourth therapist, baby. Because the, a therapist is just like a relationship, sweetheart. You gotta find what works for you. Anyway. Um, so my session today was pretty much like, you know, reflecting on all of the work that I've done because at this point I've been in therapy for going on it'll be going on two years um and just like all of the growth that you know I've I've gone through these past you know years and months and the work that I've done to actively maintain my mental health um I like to do these mental health check-ins with y'all because, like, mental health right now is at an all-time high. It is at an all-time high. And granted, while a lot of people are acknowledging, you know, their mental health, is still a lot of our people who feel like, you know, they can't talk to anybody, you know, it is what it is you know i'm just gonna avoid it sweep it under the rug or whatever but not realizing that y'all making the situation worse you know but you know to each his own like you i can't force nobody to express their emotions like that's just something that people have to deal with on their own i can only speak for myself and attest to the things that i've gone through and just seeing where just seeing where I've come from within these past two years, I'm just like, wow. You know, with the help of my therapist, but more so me doing the work and wanting to actively be better mentally, physically, spiritually, um, emotionally, and things like that. Because one of the things that the um, preacher was talking about on Sunday, or this minister whatever you want to call him um was just like you know how we act off of emotions a lot a, a lot um these these days and we don't really think before we act and then we have to suffer the consequences of it you know 
And I did that a lot. It used to be very angry. You know, but just reflecting back on where I came from and like a lot of the things that I've overcome, I am very proud of myself because I can truly say at this point in my life, I genuinely love myself. And at a point in time, that was hard for me to say, let alone do. You know? And it was brought to my attention today that July, I mean, not July, June 28th today, it starts a new moon, which a new moon is a great time to, you know, reflect and, you know, um, create new goals and set new intentions and, and just refresh and restart, you know, in preparation for the, for the new month to come ahead. And so that was, that was essentially like, and I just learned about that before I went into therapy, but that was essentially what my session was about. Like setting out goals, but not only setting out those goals, putting an action behind it. So if you're watching this video today, you know, with, with today being a new moon, you know, take a second to, baby, I ain't long with it, long winded with my words. You know how the preacher be like, uh, I ain't gonna be before you long, and then an hour later, they still up there preaching, huffing and puffing out of breath, about to pass out. Mm -mm, that ain't me with my message. My message short, sweet to the point. But I ain't gonna be before y'all long because I really gotta go. But anyway, y'all. <laughs> Before I end this video, though, I do want to challenge y'all to reflect back over your life and think about how you've grown. And even if you haven't grown, if you felt like over this past season or this past month, you were a little stagnant or, you know, things just didn't come together like you wanted them to come together. Look at all of that. See what you did right, what you did wrong, and write out write out your goals as far as like what you want to do within this next month, the next six months, you know, before the year is out. Um, I challenge each and every one of you that's watching this video to do that, and don't just write your goals down and forget about them. Write them down but put an action behind it. So write the goal and then write how it, how you're gonna act on that goal and achieve that goal and make it attainable. You know, just, and be realistic about it, y'all. Come on now, be realistic about it. Like, you know, I know it's some things that we all want, but we have to realize that in this life, it's a journey. It's not a, it's not a race and you know, things are going to happen in due time, you know. But in order for those things to happen, you have to actively work towards whatever it is you're wanting to do. Whether, I you know, like a goal for Daniel and I is to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I mean, we can do better because, you know, we, we haven't actively been posting or we haven't, you know, actively been doing certain things. But... That's, that's a goal of ours that we're going to make actionable, you know? So, yeah, I'm going to go on and go on because I have a meeting to prep for. For work. But I just wanted to stop by and have lunch with y'all and just encourage y'all, you know? Because I know we can, we can so easily conform to the ways of the world and we see things on social media and how people are living and you know we just feel like we we are deserving of those things but we have to work towards them we have to set goals and make and, and put action towards them we can't just say that we want something or we want to grow in this way uh we want to you know we want to do this we want to do that yeah life is about taking risks but you need a plan a proper plan you know you know, proper plan.
And don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to fail. Failure, failure is a part of having a growth mindset. So, that's what I challenge y'all today to do on y'all um, on this new moon, on this day of a new moon. You know, and start implementing those things. So, if you made it to the end of this video, let me see what I want y'all to drop in the comments. Drop, drop some roses in the comments, some red roses in the comment. If y'all made it to the end of this video and you're going to reflect over your life and start writing down some goals with actions behind it. And so, I'm going to leave y'all with that. We constantly pray for y'all. Our subscribers, you know, I, and I pray that everything is well with y'all. Um, and I want to see y'all do great things. Like, we're a community. At the end of the day, y'all family. That's how I feel. Y'all my family. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all have supported us in ways that, you know, some people we know personally haven't. And, and, and I'll speak for Daniel and I both on this. Like, we're appreciative. We're, we're very appreciative. We love y'all and we appreciate y'all. So, that's all I had to say for my little TED talk today. Hope y'all are doing well. Um, go ahead and like this video. Uh, share it. Comment down below. Leave some positive feedback. Not only for me, but for the people that come and watch this video. Drop something down. In addition to the roses, drop something, down, drop something positive down in the comments for people that's coming to watch this video. Um, but yeah, y'all like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend and tell another friend what we're doing over here at the MD Takeover. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Peace.